I think it's a miracle. Yeah, right? It is. It's a miracle, bro. Thank you. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Skater Scout. My name is Bree, and today we are in San Diego. Yes, um, we are going to go to a skate park here. I'm here working with my brother, um, but yeah, we're going to go skate, and I'm going to take you guys along with me. I cannot wait, so let's go. We are at Chicano Skate Park in San Diego. So cute here. A lot of people are asking if I have crib tape on my board. Um, it is clear crib tape. So you can see, I put a drawing I did, I printed it out and put it on there. And yeah, it's clear grip tape. That's like the wood itself. I thought it looked cool, so I wanted to keep it and so I just use clear grip tape. Yeah, I can do a board, like show my board on one day, but yeah. Okay, so we are doing something a little bit different today and we're going to do some talking in the vlog. I personally prefer talking in vlogs. I feel like they're more personable and you get to know me a little bit more. So moving forward, the vlogs will be like this. I always start my sessions by just rolling around and doing little reverts. I get so many comments saying, you should roll first and practice rolling before you get started. I always do. I just feel like it's boring to watch somebody just cruising around. So I cut it out of my clips. I just, I don't know. It's not fun for me to watch personally. So why would someone else want to watch that? <laughs> Next, I always move on to my ollies. Oh, she warming up. I look mean, but I'm not. Um, because of my accent, if you don't know about my accent, you can check on my Instagram or any of my old posts show it. But um, I typically hold on to something when I'm warming up and practice some ollies and shoves. You can kind of see I have a lot of muscle atrophy and so my legs are really shaky and can give out on me and I just don't want to risk getting hurt again. Um, but I would recommend this for beginners. It's how I learned a lot of tricks before my accident as well. And I feel like it's just really good for giving you confidence. A lot of people hate on it, but it's the fact that you need to use it as a stepping stone and not completely rely on it. So personally for me, I do it back to back to back to back, like just going completely one after other after other. And then once you feel confident and you're landing them, just do it with one hand and then do it letting go. See, she let go. That's what I'm talking about. Like. It doesn't matter if you're holding on to things because I did it back to back. I may not land the first couple, but she gets there. And that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. And it makes me sad. See, just like don't hate on people on how they choose to learn. There are so many times that people stop skating because they don't want to look dumb by holding on to something and don't feel comfortable on the board and just step on it and just eat shit and then they never want to skateboard again and I'm trying to prevent that happening to you. I want to see other girls skate so do do what makes you feel comfortable. I, I got a little spicy here with my no comply. I could never time my no complies honestly but okay once I do my stationary tricks I try doing at least my moving ollies. I don't feel comfortable yet to do my <laughs> my legs gave out on me <laughs> um to do my moving shoves just yet but just practicing my ollies a little bit helps a lot and just getting used to the board again also i know skateboarding and dealing with hate can be a little intimidating i get so many hate comments saying something about you don't have to show your butt in every clip which like what do you want me to do like this like i'm wearing baggy cargo pants in most of my clips that's ridiculous D no matter what people are gonna hate on you so just do what you want if you feel comfortable skating in private areas you can do that too okay so here is when i started to kind of just play around with doing faking big spins and it bummed me out because like i just learned faking big spins before my accident so i was kind of sad after this every time i skate I feel sad because I'm having to relearn everything because it's taken away from me. <sighs> so I try not to get upset just because it's kind of discouraging to like, I just got stared the f down. Um, it's kind of discouraging that I have muscle atrophy and I'm having to relearn everything and like, I feel like I'm starting from like, starting all over again. But yeah, I'm going to been working on it <laughs> um but yeah it does bum me out but i know i've been through so much so for where i am it is good but it's bum 
comes down. I'm bored. Zach is over here studying. He took me to the skate park while he's studying. So there's an alarm that will not stop going off, so I can't even record. But this park is so cute. Let me show you guys. Yeah, we're probably gonna come back tomorrow. We did not come back the next day. Let me show you guys the skate park while that alarm's going off. Cause it's so cute. I can. It is adorable. I just don't like the line. I don't know why the skate park, like they did it like there's lines in it and that's weird to me. I went to go do my kickflips holding on to something, but I just wanted to address this because I make content for beginner skaters, especially girls, and I don't want to lie about this, but every time I go skate, I do have people come up to me. Um, I have never not been outside skating and had an incident where people don't go up to you to talk to you. Um, but that's why I make the content that I do so people are less intimidated to skate. Um, especially with my scars, like for some reason, that's the way guys try to talk to me now, which is very triggering. So like in general, just don't ask people about their scars because it can be triggering for you and you don't know them. So yeah, this guy did end up being cool, but I was with my brother, but that's just a general rule of thumb. <laughs> I'm glad to see that you're getting back on the board, man. Yeah. You're not letting the accident stop you. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. You weren't skating when it happened, were you? I was on my way to skate, but I wasn't skating. You were on your board? I wasn't on my board. I was holding my board. And it was by a van, like a massive van. <laughs> like, a, like, a, uh, like a little box truck. Like one of the old school minivans. Oh, wow. So scary. Yeah. I think it's a miracle. Yeah, right? It is. It's a miracle, bro. Thank you. <laughs> Overall, uh, the guy ended up being pretty cool, but um, it is something that I just wanted to make people aware of is it does happen. So if you are uncomfortable with it, I would just recommend finding the most private area that you can. Um, and again, that's why I make the content that I do to show you that even though it's intimidating, even though it's scary, even though people come up to me, I'm still out here skating despite that. And despite the hate that I get online, it's something I love doing. So it's something I will continue to do whether I receive hate, whether people are bothering me about it. And I want you to also do that as well. And you can. <laughs> But the joy that I get from skateboarding always outweighs the negativity and the hate that I receive. Like, I will always feel more excited about skating than anybody's hate will ever affect me. And I really would like for you guys to be the same way. And that's with anything that you do. I receive, I receive a lot of hate online. Like, my friends know and my community knows I get a lot, a lot of hate, especially since I'm doing, I'm in a lot of male dominated spaces. And it's just what I enjoy doing and so what comes with that is people feeling territorial and getting upset from a girl like me joining it but again no matter what I am happy with those things doing those things I do it because I love it and for no other reason so I just want you to also see this and feel encouraged to also do those things that you love Getting back to the video, please do not come for me for these kick turns. I was never a vert skater. I'm very much a flat ground girly. So yeah, I am slowly working my way to it. And plus my balance is off anyway. But yeah, um, it's so funny though. Cause like when you're on it, it feels like you're going so high. Then you like look back at the video and you're like not even off the ground. That cracks me up every time. But this is getting towards the end of the video. Uh, I was here working with my brother and the next day we kind of were really busy. So we couldn't go back again. But uh, please let me know in the comments if you like this style of video because I personally prefer vlogs where people are talking like this, like I said before. But uh, I just think it's more fun and if you are looking away from your computer screen, you still can like almost have a podcast there with you. But yeah. I'm doing the most tiniest, tiniest kick turns, but I was never good at transition. So, but it's okay. Yeah, I tell no lies. I am not good at transitions. 
Um, but this is the end of the video. I'm sorry, we thought we were gonna come back the next day, so I didn't get to do a proper outro. But if you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you all in the next video. Thank you for watching.